So sometimes in those severe cases, it's, we can look at it that it's a blessing because you don't have to come back again. Exactly same thing happened to Ananda Mai, uh, happened to Ma Amritananda Mai, the hugging mother. Do you, how many of you know Amaji, the hugging mother, the Indian lady guru who travels around the world and she hugs people. I met her at her ashram in 1992. I went to South Kerala uh, and I went to her ashram. At that time, she wasn't that big. People didn't know her very much. It was still smaller. I witnessed her hug 35,000 people in three days. 35,000 people came to her ashram and she hugged all of them. She got up once a day and went pee to the bathroom and came back. She didn't eat food. She didn't sleep. For three days nonstop, she was hugging people. When I read her life story, for the first 21 years of her life, she, she was born in an Indian family in South Kerala, Everybody was fair skin for Indians. Um, and she was the darkest person. Actually, the first few days when she was born, her skin was blue, which later on it was recognized that it was kind of a re re reincarnation of uh, Krishna. So she was very, very dark. Her family did not like her. And her family, her parents, her siblings, they treated her, the youngest daughter in the family, as a maid. They treated her as a maid. Her parents used to beat the hell out of her. I mean, can you imagine? You have a six, seven-year-old daughter and you beat her up all the way to age 21. She wasn't allowed to go to family parties and gatherings. They m turned her to a maid. I mean, this is for me hard to imagine that I make one of my kids or youngest daughter, I beat her up regularly. I make her be a maid, treat her like a maid and everybody else in the family treats her like a maid. We're talking about Amma, Amaji, the hugging mother the guru she's an avatar at age 21 when her consciousness merged the cosmic cos consciousness and she went through a full awakening and enlightenment she awakened to the truth of who she is she realized that it was a part of her karma and that was God's will. That was the Ishvara. That was the Lord God, the creator of the universe. Acting through her parents. Her parents, she started to see that her parents in the first 21 years of her life were her guru. They were beating her up and abusing her. They were burning her karma. She burned her karma. And at age 21, she fully became realized. And I consider her today that she's an avatar. She's an enlightened being that has spiritual powers. After her enlightenment, she realized that that was a part of God's will that she had to burn leftover karma in the first 21 years by being abused. She forgave her parents. She has no resentments and her family. Now her family and brothers, sisters, everyone is serving her, serving her mission. So we don't really know and we can't understand the whole picture. We don't see 
the big picture that God sees because we're only here for a short period of time. How old are you? How long have you been here? You're 20, you're 40, you're 50, you're 80 years old. That's nothing in the span of eternity. That's like a blink, like your life, even if you're 85 years old, your life is like a blink. How much do you know in this period of time? How much do you learn? In comparison to that which has been around ever since the ever since, in comparison to the great wisdom. We don't understand it. We don't get it. There's so much we don't know. Even when you think you know, so much you don't know. And I'm going to get into this next week. Remind me if I forget. We can't see the big picture, so we don't understand it. We don't know why, why this happens, why that happens. Why we have to suffer. Why we have to go through hardship. Why do we get beat, raped, abandoned, kicked around. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not encouraging it. But we don't understand God's plan. But we get to a point in our evolution of understanding that we surrender to what God wants to do and you let it go and you let let God to carry you and then everything starts to change it becomes a smooth ride I don't understand I don't understand all the events happen in my life or every time I had to suffer. I don't understand why I had to have five near-death experiences. I don't understand why I was saved all five times, where I should have been dead. I don't understand why my sister had to die at age 53 and my mother is 93. I don't understand why somebody goes so early and someone lives for a long time. I don't know the purpose of it. And it doesn't matter if I understand it or not. I don't have to know everything. Same as I don't have to know the engineering of a car in order to drive a car. I don't have to understand how fuel injection works, how the brake system works in a car, how the transmission of a car works mechanically in order to drive it. I just have to learn to drive the car and do minor maintenance on it. There's much, a lot I don't understand. But I do understand one thing. The presence is here. God is here. And I am one with that. So are you. And that is what runs everything. That's all I need to know. Everything else takes care of itself. <laughs>